you want to start with a general statement about your recruiting class, and we'll open it up for questions. Oh yeah, you know, uh, you know, where do we start? It's been uh, really kind of just the uh, the ending to over a year of, of recruiting this this 2024 class, and actually, uh, I remember offering the the first young man when I was here by myself. Uh, we grew to to four coaches in the spring, and then four of us hit 600 high schools this spring to really start finding the class and and getting to getting the list and, and watching film and. Um, you know, the whole season of, of, of watching games and games live, you know, adding staff to finish up this, this class and traveling all over the state of Texas and, uh, and to really, you know, be able to sit here and, and name and release really by the end of, of, you know, maybe the next couple of weeks, over 70 young men uh, to be, that are ready to be a part of this program uh, is phenomenal. And, um, you know, the, the, the big questions, there's always a lot of questions. Uh, starting something like this from scratch and, and a lot of unknowns. Uh, one of the biggest unknowns was, you know, what were we going to get down here uh, and, and trying to field an entire team to practice in 2024, knowing a majority of those guys are going to be high school kids. A lot of, uh, more than half of them are going to be walk-ons. Um, and really the goal for like this point was to maybe have 40, uh, not knowing what we'd get. And we're at the point where we're turning guys away right now. And uh, we had we had to cut it off. Uh, we still got guys that, that want to be a part of this program. We know we need to save some spots and, and have a tryout in the fall. But uh, so just some pleasant surprises of the number of young men on February 7th that are already uh, signed up to be a part of this program. The quality of student athletes um, that are in this signing class, which goes back to the quality of coaches uh, we've been allowed and, and able to get down here. Uh, and then back to our administration and the plan, the people that have done this before, because the you know you start looking at the facilities and the plan and all that is a, is another big piece that allowed the quality of young men uh, to want to want to be a part of this thing uh, and be the first signing class in history. So it's it's uh, it's been pretty pretty exciting, pretty overwhelming. I know as a staff, we kind of sat in here this morning, uh, been in here since about six thirty, waiting for these uh, all these letters to come through. But to, to sit here and and look at each other and, and say, man, you know we've you know, we, we no, no none of us thought we'd have you know seventy guys at this point. You know, and now uh, and still looking ahead to the to the next few months uh, of adding more, and then now planning practices and planning our schemes and getting ready to to have a team on campus in the fall. So it's just a, another exciting day for for UTRGV, the Real Grand Valley in general, but especially uh, this this um, this brand new football team. Uh, congratulations on getting to this day and filling out the roster where you feel like it's more important to get these uh, young kids, young athletes in. Uh, for you, this is kind of like this third milestone because first it was a December uh, first signing class and then you have the groundbreaking of the facilities now February 7th where now you kind of like put another foundation into place. Just where do you feel this is that at the current moment? Uh, I mean, yeah, like like we said, just uh, you know, very pleasantly surprised of the, of the progress of everything, uh, you know, and and I think too when the you know we bring these these uh, young men down here on recruiting visits and uh, not only just the you know seeing what the Rio Grande Valley has to offer, but they look up and the pavilions going up, they see the practice fields lined out, they see the plan that we have in place, and uh, and really going back to our administration to really you know working hard to set this thing up to be successful, they they could see that vision. Uh, and see the vision we're selling here. Uh, so it's, it's been exciting to, to have this many young men here and then, and then you know, get this milestone. Now look ahead to the next one. Hey, Coach Bush, you talk about the quality of the men on the team and you know, at this point having to turn away people. What goes into determining that quality? I mean, what are you really looking at when, when you look at all these players and when you sign these players? Yeah, and I mean, overall, you know, your your athletic ability is gonna gonna catch your eye, and, and that's where we start. But we really start breaking down um, all all the things, you know, from the mentality to toughness to leadership to you know, you know how they practice. I mean, there's so much that goes involved to trying to find the guy right guy um, to fit your culture, recruiting in general. Um, a big piece looking for this class. Uh, which we are uh, looking back to start this thing at UTSA. We did not even think of this until we got the first class on campus is when they come in, they don't have upperclassmen to learn from. 
you know, they don't have juniors and seniors to show them around and teach them the culture. So we really made a point in this class to really look for those leaders, look for those mature guys, because they're going to have to come in as high school, you know, coming in from high school as true freshmen here, and, and they're the upperclassmen right off the bat. And we need those type of guys that could set the foundation. Um, it, you know, we got a few guys that uh, that were part of our programs at, at high school. It, it kind of already understand that culture and buy into that culture, which will help build it as well. <clears throat> It's really, a, you know, a culmination of this is year 24, you know, and, and being at all levels, you know, from an assistants to coordinators to whether it's head high school coach, athletic director, and being being a part of all these different levels and, and being around it, having started up, you know, being a part of a startup program as an assistant. It's really just, uh, you know, years of years of, of learning and practice and, and uh, just that experience, which, uh, which again, it's still new. It's still my first time to do this, so there's still a lot of things that, that we're, we're figuring out as, as we go, but... Again, you got a, we got a great staff here uh, that they've been different places, and, and uh, we've got such a such a good staff. It's it's not my program, never going to be my program. This is UTRGV football. Uh, we're putting everything together as an entire staff. Once a team gets here, we'll put things together as an entire football team. Uh, but it's a it's a culmination of everybody in this room. It's the first national signing day for you guys here at UTRGV football, um, but you've been around plenty of national signing days. Where does this just rank up um, in your career for just? overall excitement and feel of, of just signing a new class it's really uh oh it's it's i mean it's, it's got to be the best so far i mean it's, it's been the easiest because everything's a docu site now it's all digital we used to have to wait for fax machines to come in and you know you're waiting for the faxes and then you got a buddy at across you know at a rival school that faxes you 200 pages at one time just to mess with you and so it's uh it's good because again we we've 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 started from from nothing again. It was uh, it was it was me and me and Chase Conk in, on a meeting on December fifteenth uh, with with a sheet of paper you know, last year, and then it, you know as, as we've grown to uh, you know not you know just not having any any idea of what's going to come or who we're going to look at, and, and starting from scratch and really um, you know didn't have a recruiting services. We did it old school style. The four of us went to six hundred high schools, and, and we went and watched kids and found kids, and to see guys that we found back in. April of last year, and we liked them from the get-go, and we were able to hang on to them. Other people trying to get them and get them down here. So it's just there's some there's some special pieces uh, in this deal, and then some late finds that we got, and some battles that we had to, to win against other schools. Um, but again, and, and and the 15 years of coaching college never have we had to sign 60, 65, 70 guys. You know, you're signing 12 to 15 every year, so it's it's a little different into um, the. The volume, these these guys, these coaches, especially during the season with four coaches, they had to keep up with. You know, normally you're recruiting two or three of your own guys, but they're they're contacting 15, 20 kids a week and 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 going to watch you know games Thursday, Friday, Saturday on the weekends to make sure we get everyone evaluated. So credit to them, but it's uh, this is truly a special one uh, to be a part of. And as for uh, just you talk about the recruiting trail, you guys hit it hard across the state of Texas, um, especially here at home in the Valley. So uh, talk about just some of the, the kids that you have signed here in the Valley and just uh, your overall excitement for them to have a chance to just stay at home and uh, compete in front of their friends and family. It's good. And, and, and we're excited. And, and um, again, they had, they had some options too, but uh, we had to battle with a few of them. Uh, but, but to keep them here, we're always going to start, you know, our, you know, we can't, you know, most of the time you, you, you draw a circle around your, your school. You know, we kind of got a V going up, you know, focusing on the state of Texas. But we start here. Um, every coach is involved in recruiting the Valley. Everybody has a section of the Valley. And um, we did a good job. And uh, we've, we, you know, we feel like we've got the, the best guys in the Valley. We're able to keep them at home. And that's going to be the goal every year of, the, you know, the best guys here uh, and anywhere in South Texas. You know, we've got several from Laredo as well and in the Corpus area. So guys that, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to start here and work our way up for sure. <clears throat> Coach, uh, recently you guys were able to sign two kids from Edinburgh, Jackson, and Jamal. What did you see in them? Uh, some of the things that kind of stood out uh, in your film that, that you said to yourself, I want – well, go. You know, the the biggest thing. You know, we look forward to all these guys. We want tough competitors, great work ethic, and and they've got it. They and they come from great programs. Uh, that's another key piece in, in looking at recruiting. Is you also you study the program, and that's why you you look at our staff. They they're all Texas high school guys. They they play Texas football. They understand the schools, the programs. Um, but you know, guys like that, they coming from Vela. They know how to work. They know how to compete. They know how to win. 
Uh, and, and so looking for guys that are going to come in and, and help help set that culture right off the bat, they, they're already used to that culture. So definitely, I mean, their, their, their film, their, their ability speaks for themselves. And, um, but I think it really goes back to the program that they come from as well. And also, Coach, um, have you been discussing in regards to utilizing the transfer portal? At what point are you going to? Think about that in, in regards to uh, getting some, some guys in. Yeah, of course. Good question. And, uh, yeah, we're always going to utilize um, every resource we can. And there's going to be a time coming up here. Now, we're going to have to balance our classes out. You know, the majority of these guys are, are freshmen, you know, over 60 freshmen. Well, when you get a roster of 120, you can't have half the roster, you know, in the same class. So we'll, we'll – We'll utilize our resources to uh, really make sure we start balancing out our numbers with freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. We are working into, into 2025. Um, but at the same time, our focus is going to be Texas high school um, young men and, uh, and really doing right by, by Texas. And, and looking, you know, having that model this year, since that's really what the focus was going to be, since everyone's going to redshirt, we realize in, um, with the uh, transfer pool and the way that game's going there is a lot of texas high school young men that aren't getting recruited there's guys that we we're able to get walk on to get walk on here that 10 years ago we'd have given them a different division one scholarship you know because they they're just that many good young men available um, because a lot of colleges aren't recruiting high school kids anymore so i feel like that could be a benefit for us as well um, but yes there's going to be times you saw we got one right now uh, we got our first one in um, so probably won't be many, many more for the 24 years since they got to uh, lose a year since we're not playing games, but uh, we will in the future for sure. Coach, you say you about talk um, about the battles. What was the key to winning those battles, and what has been your main selling point for the players? Uh, really, it, it boils down to the, the the three, probably the three reasons that, that sold me on this place, and um, you know. What is the opportunity? The, the opportunity to be a part of something special uh, and be a part of that first class and build something from scratch uh, that, that's gonna, gonna last and be around here for a long time. Uh, number two goes back to the administration, the commitment to excellence, the vision, the plan, the facilities, the resources we have down here to set this thing up to be successful. Uh, they saw that when they stepped on campus. And then the third's a real Grand Valley. Uh, for me personally, it's a special place. Grew up down here and, and um, you know, somewhere I've always wanted to get back to. Uh, and then for a lot of the guys that weren't from here, it was getting down here and seeing how great everything was, the people around here, you know, the people in our university system and, and campus, everyone that was involved with recruiting from admin to professors. I mean, they really felt the, the family connection here on campus. But those three things are probably the, the biggest from, from, from what we've heard back from parents and, and kids. Which, uh, with this being the first signing class uh, in program history, when you were out on the, the recruiting trail and looking at these kids you wanted to bring in to be part of this first class, how much of it went, uh, how much did them being a fit to the offensive and defensive schemes that you hope to run um, in this practice year and uh, ultimately in the first few years of this program, how much did that factor in those players being a fit to what you want to do on the field? There's some, uh, you know, really we we've built our systems to be multiple and be able to tailor fit to our personnel. You know, that was big, you know, not again, the unknown of what we were going to be able to get down here. So the, the, the systems we've been able to kind of build over the, the, the past year are going to be multiple and really can tailor fit, tailor fit them. So, so not by a little bit, you know, but, but, you know, we didn't, you know, we're not just looking for a six foot four quarterback or, you know, this this size, I mean, it, it goes back to tough, tough dudes that, that love to play football and, and competitors. And uh, you, you've done it a long time, and, and you look at a lot of guys, whether it's in college or NFL, and it's it's that that toughness and uh, and work ethic, um, not necessarily the size or, or speed that they can can um, can help them be successful. And obviously, uh, with all these guys that you're signing, you got to feel good about all of them. But is there any certain to, uh, position group that? Uh, stands out in, in your eyes to where you feel good about it or you, you like the depth at that position or the talent that you guys brought in at any position offensively or defensively? Uh, definitely excited about uh, what we got at quarterback. Um, of course, uh, we do have, you know, Zion's enrolled right now, so he was he was one that, that we were battled about. Got some – we really got some good guys at, at, at all the positions. We didn't – again, we didn't have too many scholarships to give, so there's just a handful of scholarships at each, each position. But, you know, O-line, we were able to – you know, really most of those guys came in the last class. We got one more guy that's about six foot six in this class. But the, the size uh, up front and the, on the offensive line, 
Uh, we've got some good backs, some some versatile receivers, defensive backs um, across the board can play multiple positions. And that was a big thing, too, was looking for guys that could play multiple positions and let that work itself out over the practice year, whether it's going to be a corner, uh, safety, maybe an outside linebacker. We've got um, running backs and receivers that can, can bounce. They've, a lot of them play both ways. A lot of them play multiple sports. Um, you know, same thing with, with linebackers that, that can eventually move down to D-line. So the, that might have been a key. Um, going back to your last question, last last question was was guys that that felt like they could play multiple positions uh, and let that work itself out over the year, and then obviously been be beneficial on special teams. Any roles left needed to be complete for your coaching staff? We are complete with full time coaches. We just got equipment managed. There's ten full time coaches. What we're allowed, uh, we've got our equipment manager hired. He's he just started this week, so he's got a lot of stuff to order. His head's spinning back there. Uh, you know, next on the docket, we've got strength coach coming up, you know, athletic trainers and video staff. So there's still a few more um, off the field type staff that, that's down the road. How important was the order and the roles in which they were filled to helping you build everything from the ground up that you've completed so far? It was good. You know, it started with the with the first crew. That was probably the, you know, the, the foundation, um, you know, and, and really uh, having been a, an offensive guy and coordinator. So, you know, want to make sure we win their defensive coordinator first. Uh, and Brian Gabble, he was on the original staff at, at Incarnate Word. So he's been a part of this. Um, um, and, you know, Jeff Bowen, Adrian McDonald, they both played for us. Um, Jeff at, at Texas State, Adrian at the University of Houston, just tough grinders, and that's what we needed to get this thing started. And it kind of worked out where there was kind of two of us offensively, two of us defensively as we hit the road recruiting and evaluating and, and working on putting some some initial schemes together. So so that order was 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 key. And then um, you know we, we added three more quickly, um, and those were kind of already solidified. Last year they just knew they were like committed, waiting for signing day. You know, so after their season was over, we were able to hire them. Uh, and then really excited about this last bunch we got. You know, when you got a, a guy that played um, in the NFL for 11 years, uh, special teams and corner is going to coach your corner and and, uh, and special team coordinator. And, of course, Chris Brassfield, who's been at, at some of the top, um, you know, Division One FBS schools in the nation. Uh, just really excited to add add some guys uh, of, the, of that caliber, too. <clears throat> coach, for you to have the assistant coaches bring in a lot of key players uh, in multiple positions, just uh, how important w was it for you to get the assistant coaches involved in the recruiting process of these young men? Quickly. Uh, I mean, it, very important because, uh, you know, there were some – guys that that were waiting to commit because they want to know who the receiver coach was they wanted to know who their special teams coordinator was so we were trying to get some of those guys in and, and quickly here before the end of signing day because there were some guys waiting and that's that's important they need to know who's going to coach them once your guys arrive on campus um what's the culture identity that you guys want to set uh for for the team um uh, you know the, the biggest thing like, like we talk about is is Toughness, you know, you know, mentally tough competitors, great work ethic, and and uh, you know that's going to start with with our foundation. And when they come in, and it's 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 unique because, again, as as they come in, everybody's competing for jobs. You know, there's no returning starters, and and it's uh, every every little detail matters. And they they're going to know we come in. There's going to be probably over 80 guys come in, and and you know, not 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 everyone can stay. So it's it's going to be a battle every day and, and competition. But it's going to boil down to to really that character, that mindset, um, you know, learning to win on a daily basis um, and that, you know, waking up, we talk about winning today and everything we do in our program and it's, it's just a mindset, you know, waking up in a three-point stance every morning, ready to attack and, and be the best at whatever you're doing. And that's going to be the mindset no matter what we're doing, if it's practice, weight room, classroom, community service, uh, that, that mindset is going to become who we are on a daily basis. Um, so that's going to be uh, – Going to be big with this first crew of setting that, that foundation and setting the culture for the next teams teams to come in. But but boils down to uh, to uh, you know mental toughness and, and competitiveness. <clears throat> and how do you think having a facility like the Buckos Performance Center is going to really impact your team and propel them? Oh, it's going to be huge. I mean, it's going to give you every resource you need to be you know to compete with everybody else in the nation. You know, just from the facilities it's, it, itself. But but the biggest thing is being able to recruit top talent down here, and that's the name of the game. And, and college athletics is 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 recruiting, and and everybody's. Uh, you know, that's why you see people just com continue to con keep improving their facilities, even though they have great facilities. You know, they have to, and and uh, and then we'll continue to do the same thing. But that that's going to be a um, a a facility that's going to be one of the best in the nation off the bat. And, uh, and that's, that's something that, that, you know, a lot of people, you know, we're sitting in a facility right now that I've, I've been in schools. This is the best they have, you know, and they've been around for a long time. 
uh, and this is a, a temporary deal for us. So again, it goes back to the commitment of, of, of Chase and, um, and our president and everybody involved in, in making sure this thing's done right.